what to do before you interview your next employee. Welcome to Fortify, where we help you fortify your business. Now, each week, we cover a different topic randomly chosen by the Fortify button. So let's see what this week's episode is going to be about. Hiring the right people. What to do before you interview your next employee. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you have anybody working for you that you wished you'd never hired? Now, a quick disclaimer. I recognize that there are two sides to every story, but in this episode, it's intended for business owners and hiring managers. You see, one bad apple can spoil the whole bunch. If you have one person on your team, they can contaminate for everybody. You know, it's easier to run with a thousand people going in the same direction than it is with one person tied around your ankle. Some of us need to free people up for new opportunities. You see, many employers get hung up on the interview itself, but it's preparation is really the key. So before you even interview, you need to prepare properly. So how do you prepare to hire the right people? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to prepare and define a clear position description. You know, what does success look like? Make sure you know exactly what results you're expecting from the position. Next, use your M, T, and O's to define it deeper. M, T, and O's are minimum. This means this is the minimum requirements that people need to do to keep their job. Target means that's the target that you're aiming for, that people should produce the results. And then the optimal. So you know what the minimum target and optimal is for each position. Next, I want you to create the perfect candidate profile. You know, what attitudes, traits, and skill sets do you want from the person that you're interviewing? Now, a great way to find out if you've got the right person before you interview is to use assessments. I love assessments. Now, I use the DISC profile and I've used Myers and Briggs, but whatever assessment you use, they're great pre hiring tools to help make sure that you weed out the bad apples before you even get a chance to interview. I also want you to make sure that you do a background check. Now, you can use formal websites online where you can do background checks and legal checks, check their references, of course and of course, on social media too. Now to help make this point, let me share with you a quick story. A few years ago, I put an ad on CareerBuilder to interview for a graphic designer. And I got a candidate and I was all ready to interview her and right before the interview, I saw her drive up in her car. I thought, you know what? It's probably a good idea if I Google her name. So I Googled her name to see what would come up. And you know, nothing really came up. Basic social media profile. But then I Googled her email address. Oh boy, what a shocker this was. First thing came up was a blog post. And let me tell you verbatim what the blog post said. It said, and I quote, I'm going for a job interview today. I'm trying to find a job where I can do the least amount of work and get paid the most amount of money. I got fired from my last job from calling in sick too much. Now, right as I get done reading, she's getting ready to be walking into my uh, conference room. I close my laptop and we continue with the interview. And she interviews amazingly. She's got a great portfolio. She asks all the right questions. She has great answers to all of my interview questions. And then I said, Kim, is this you? And I flipped down my LCD projector of the blog post. And she took a look at that, took a look at me, and she started to cry. And I started to laugh. And I said, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? Did you think I was gonna find that? I mean, you're not applying for accounting position. I'm a top marketer. You don't think I'm gonna find this? And she said, look, I really don't even want a job. My husband wants me to go out and get a job. I wanna stay home with my two young kids. I said, Kim, stay home. Be a great mom. Kids only grow up once. That's a, that's a great job. And when you're ready, come back and see me for a job. The moral of the story is, that you need to make sure that you look at what people are putting online before you even interview them because it might just give you some insights into them. Here's a great tip for this week's episode. I want you to select a position that you're hiring for and I want you to go through the steps that I just listed before your next interview. It's going to save you so much time and so much frustration. Now remember, hire slow and fire fast. That's it for this week's episode of Fortify. Now I want you to get in the comments below and I want you to let me know the most unique question that you can think of that you've ever been asked in an interview or that you've given in the interview process. And I want you to share this video with anybody that hires staff. 
And if you like what you see, subscribe to be notified of upcoming episodes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Fortify, where we help you fortify your business. That's it for this week's episode of Fort. It's fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Really. But it's fine. You did a great job, Andrew. Write that down. What do you want me to do?